Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, of course I'm... Of course I'm here. Yeah, now it's all about the boom. What's she, going on? I'm here. In the flesh. AJ's here. Brett's here. Right. My ridiculous thing of water is here. My blood and blood out shirt is here. And speaking of blood, my red is back. I'm no longer the purple man. So all I have to say to you, this is kind of weird, is four, four. Four, four? What is four, four? Four, four. I got four left in my top ten. You got four left in your top ten. And we made our top ten before they were even picked. Before before they announced the 36 <laughs> that were going to be part of the quarterfinals and semis. So, even more impressive. Yeah. Um, we still got four. I believe last year, we you had three going in. I only had two. Um, of course, one of my two was Brandon Leak. This year, Brett and I are sharing three in common. Um, Jimmy. Jimmy. Victory. And? Uh, no. no. Uh, Jimmy. Uh, um, and Brooke. Brooke Simpson. Oh Brooke, I was just seeing a few new. Brooke Simpson's your girl, you don't remember. So Brooke Simpson, yes. Jimmy, and Victory, all singers. And then the fourth that we each have, yours is Leah Kyle, um, the woman who leaves clothing stuck in a plant wall. <laughs> and ah! I've got Taekwondo, who don't have a prayer, because... They are Asian. Just saying, my opinion. Um, so Someone said that she doesn't have a prayer because she's from, like, Germany or something. <laughs> she's white. Oh, uh, yeah. She's, she, she's whiter than the untanned part of my arm. <laughs> so she's fine. She'll be, yeah, she, I think she'll be okay. Oh, yeah, she is German, huh? That explains why Heidi always acts like a freaking oh. coked-up auctioneer whenever she comes out. <laughs> oh, my God, I didn't even so, right, like so. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Heidi's gonna be fighting for it no matter what she does. There could be, mm. there could be, there could be so much uh, it, uh, freaking clothes in the trees that it looks like right. <laughs> that it looks like that. It looks like you got you got tricked on Halloween. <laughs> right, and just threw all the stuff in the trees, <laughs> and she's gonna be like, I really liked it. I didn't really even notice that. <laughs> And just like how he's gonna be like, ha, ha, for, for both comedians, right? Oh, ha, ha, that was the best! Oh my gosh! It was boring. This is the finals. Are you supposed to step up? Look, look. I like you, but I honestly thought I laughed more before. <laughs> he so did. we're so the judges are ready to go to war. We're ready to go to war. We each got four. Brett, what is what is going down? This is the pre-show for the finale. I'm gonna put it right in. I'm gonna put my finger in your face first. Who would you rather go to battle with, Leah Kyle or Taekwondo? Great question. Because I'm going to battle with Leah Kyle. I will say, out of the two, that Leah Kyle would seem to have a lot of advantages. She's attractive. Rough. Her whole act centers around her losing clothes, which psychologically is probably a good thing. However, I don't know where she else can she go with the act. As opposed to Taekwondo, I have no idea what those crazy mofos are going to do. So, do I think either one of them really has a good chance of winning? I would not say they're one of the killer three or four. I agree with that. But... I think everybody's got a chance this year, whereas last year, I was like, these three people don't have any kind of chance. I picked three people, like, they don't have a prayer. This year, I would say, under the perfect circumstances, any one of them could win. I could see Josh Blue winning. Yes. I can even see Gina win. I think Josh Blue has a big advantage over Gina, yeah. but I could imagine Gina, because, again, anything where you're speaking, like Brandon Leak. You do the right thing, you say the right thing at the right time, you capture the zeitgeist, and you can win. But if you were setting up a betting at line for them... Great it, question. It would all be even. I, I mean, they're... Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. <laughs> like, let me, let me put it to you this way. Right? Uh, now, you, you post a great hard question, I'm going to do the same. All uh, right. Leah Kyle or Aerialist Boy? Who's higher? 
Uh, Aerialist boy. Cool. Uh, Gina, Josh Blue. Josh Blue. Victory or Brooke? <gasps> now I'm making it hard, right? Now I'm making it difficult. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say Brooke. I like that you're taking positions, even though these are really hard questions. This one's going to be even worse. You ready? Maybe yes. Nurse Choir, Jimmy. The Nurse Choir has the best odds of winning the show. See what I just did and see what he just did? He just took a strong position. So you're saying Nurse Choir's got the best odds to win the show. But those odds aren't significant. It's not like they've got a 50% chance of winning. But they probably have, let's say, a 15% chance of winning as opposed to just a 10% chance that the other acts have, right? And Jimmy's got a 10% chance of winning, I think. And then there's probably a bunch of eights. Yeah, I mean, they. let's be real. There's nobody who's sort of the runaway hit, right? Not yet. Um, someone needs a knock-your-ass-off performance. Uh, so, we got a lot of comments. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of acts that have reached out to us. Fine. We're going to talk about that stuff. Um, but Brett is going to invoke the power of the mean judges and get some friends of the show uh, to comment on stuff. And that's going to be a great list. But we, we don't even want to spoil it. But you know, like Alan and, you know, the guys from Brooklyn Roots, that kind of thing. But a whole bunch of others, people that we love, like Shakira, all that kind of stuff. I'm really excited about that. Um, I, I will reveal the, the singer-songwriter that reached out uh, very recently, um, Nolan Neal. Nolan Neal, who... Uh, yeah, I remember Nolan Neal. He had the story about the drug recovery and all that good stuff. Wrote his own song, so I wasn't bitching about who did, did him not doing an original or The Greatest Showman every time. Um, but he, he kind of disappears for a while. I just hope he's sticking to his music. Um, I'd like to write a song for him, me, Shakira, and Joey. Well, after Funny Bunny, <laughs> you know, you're a lock now. Once he, once he saw the effervescent lyrics of Funny Bunny, he was oh, like, gosh. Funny oh. Bunny, by the way, if you join our Patreon, you'll get to hear a special, like, you know, that song isolated. But if you wanted to listen to the post show from the results show last night, you can check it out there, too. But really, you should think about joining the Patreon because it's redonkulous and, um, you know, We've increased the amount of people on Patreon. We would love to increase it any more, even more. So please think about joining. It will go towards a new webcam. Um, but, <laughs> yes, we'll say that. Um, but um, also, we're going to have a remix um, on there where I add a beat uh, that goes uh, great to your... Or you might uh, spit it again, but I don't know. I, we, Mar- Marquito and me tried to spit that. Yeah, we couldn't do it. It, it was, it, it was. I mean, really? Okay. It, it it was hard to do, man. But he read it as a bedtime story, and it was pretty funny. Like that. Marquito did that. To, yeah. So I laid down and closed my eyes. That's nice. And he read me a bedtime story, and it's really funny as a as a as a kid story, like. <laughs> <laughs> the funny bunnies and it's actually uh, the funny bunnies um, fight for their lives not wives I, I accidentally put wives wives is better really because it's ridiculous <laughs> it's, it's really they're fighting funny. for their wives because their wives are going to get killed that's how savage that arena is oh my you know? gosh uh, fight or die bro fight or die alright so um, yeah you gotta fight or die we also had a a British, British a Britain Got Talent contestant. Um, she was the older, little older, not the older. I don't want to say older. Oh, She's young. She's younger than me. That's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Um, so her name is Musha Wuhu. Um, she was she was a drag queen from um, the British. British talent talent. show. Yeah. <laughs> and her name was Marie Mar- Myra Dubois. Myra Dubois, very good. Um, and 
she said, I just found this after a, after a year, this came into my recommendations. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what's wrong with the dog. He, all right, we'll wrap it up. Um, but, um, fun. You know, quiet. Get in the bed. <laughs> Get in the bed right now. Get in the bed. Okay, I, I, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you saw what just happened. Right? Well, yeah, I noticed that there was a camera on me. Um, so we're going to go through these comments real fast. Just the new ones that came in in the last 20 hours. Um... Uh, this is Be not like, uh, because Stephen Beck uh, was late to the party, um, and he thought unicycle flow was incredible. Mm hmm And they were. They were. You saw him chance. <laughs> um, ooh, okay, so Kabir, it was so off. He lost his energy, he had in previous performances, seemed very forced. Um, Here's a question on this thing. When I when I look over at you, am I looking over at you? Because everything's reversed. We. You know, at times when you say something crazy, I'll just sort of. You don't. You 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 go the right way. Okay, good. You do. I, but I always point the wrong way. Okay, how do I? I don't know. How I do it. But Man, I look good in that joke. I, that's why I closed it up so fast. 90, <laughs> 99 views. We need one more view for Leah Kyle to get 100. Brett, what are the cops there for? Um, Leah is so good. She makes all her own, own clothes, memorizes the choreography. Jeez, how does he know all this? I agree. Um, because they show it in the video every time of her sewing the clothes? Oh, yeah. I saw the sewing machine. I agree with Brett, especially. <laughs> the semifinals still have room for slight error. Um, for what? Slight error. The semifinals. Slight error. Oh, yes. That's right. You got to remember we're talking to them nice and loud. You know what? I, I'm, if, if I ever get an R&B group, we're going to be called sliced air. <laughs> what? The, um, so, the, the, the nurse choir, Steve Beck, uh, he was talking about the solo guy. He was thinking he was riding with it. Um, oh, wow. It was bad. It takes the mentalist. Um, so he, he hated it. Good. Uh, anyone that is a, is a fan of our show, you better hate mentalist. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of... <laughs> can't they enjoy the, sit back and enjoy themselves? Get your phone right now. You, you already ruined everything for me. Did I ruin everything? I, I used to love it. I used to love magic. And kids at kid acts. I still Comedians. I no. I well. I don't like the young K acts. I, I like the animal acts. Well, there was one, there was one good one, but they didn't put that one through. Oh man, we gotta get it. We gotta get on that. Uh, Stephen Beck. Oh, so Stephen Beck uh, was talking about victory, um, and he said I liked the song actually. One of the rare times I completely agree with Stephen. That's what I was looking for. There you go. You finally found it. Yes. Um, one of the rare times. It was a drop the mic performance. She's nine. She's nine, and we say these things. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> well, you you uh, crapped on a six-year-old DJ once, and you mentioned the homeless people. Uh, Stephen Beck, uh, talking about the Chap Kids. I like them, but I was unsure it would take them to the final. Mm. And then um, little Brooke Simpson pulled that ass. <laughs> um, all right, so nothing new. Uh Let's see what we got. Okay, for the post game, uh, Sam Bernard, a new commenter four hours ago. Here's a link if you want to have all the info for the season of AGT or the past seasons. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to make sure they email this to you right away. Can't um, wait. <laughs> we're kidding. Yay. Uh, I will definitely, I will click on the link. It will help you guys remember everything that went down. You know it's Finally all five. about the... Yeah. Base, the base. Boom. Um, Sam Bernard, welcome to the, to the family. Uh, we, we like to give the new guys a little little rough, rough, bad jab, jab, you know, just to, just to see if you're solid. <laughs> uh, 
uh, you know, where the boxing counts. Um, I so that's a levitating, and that's it. Awesome. So um, that is we got. We have the last thing we're gonna do is just run through the show. What we're gonna see on Tuesday, um, and I want you to say one word that describes Ooh. this act. You got it, Aiden Bryant. Um, youthful. Thank you for not saying the T word, uh, Brooks. What was it? What's the T word? Whisper to me. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm serious all the time. So. Yeah, well, that, you know, you know. Number three, uh, Brooks Simpson. Mmm. Um, dark horse. Uh, nice. One phrase. <laughs> one phrase. I got a couple sentences, uh, but I'm not going to say them. Um, oh, no. <laughs> took my legs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my All right. Um, uh, Dustin, the magician. Um, Necessary evil. Wow. He is a family man. I'll give him that. John, John. See, even he's got a chance of winning if he if he comes out with the the right tear jerky oh. nonsense. Look well, at your phone. Oh, <laughs> um, James Blunt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh Blue. James Blunt, Josh Blue, same thing. Um, mm, favorite. My, I think he's got the best chance to win percentage wise. I like that. I can't believe I'm saying that. Well, remember, I I started to get on a Josh Blue wagon, and I, I, I'm i not on it as I love his performances. I'm on it like I'm watching other people, and I... If he can put together an entire set that's good... I And I would love him to, because he seems like someone that's, that's rummaging through your garbage in the park. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and you give five dollars to, um, but he could be a millionaire. Edit it. It's a lot of broccoli shirts. Edit, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> edit. <laughs> Do I go for the edit? Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's the one that said it. That's why I said it. He was joking <laughs> they th- that they think that he's homeless. But he's not. You know it's yeah. Came in like a wrecking ball. Uh, nurses overrated. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna jerk. The feel good choice. Ooh. <laughs> um, taekwondo. Um, personal favorite. That's the only act that I know 100% for sure I will enjoy watching for sure. And I'm going to leave this to the end. Jimmy. Um, spark of hope. I hope Jimmy wins for the sake of me. And, you know... And I'm going to say taken down a notch. Here's the only one that I would actually want to see in a show. I think I just realized that. I couldn't watch an hour and a half of Taekwondo. No. But I could watch Jimmy sing a full thing. I would not want to listen to (laughs) Victory do opera's greatest hits for more than one song. But I would listen to Jimmy sing. Uh, For an hour and a half? Jimmy sings the songs that you thought you hated. I would definitely... Oh, that's a great... That's a Vegas act right there. Yeah. Um, Come with me. And... Last but least. Wow. <laughs> Victory. Um, um, Danelia. Eighth place, and she gets surprised, or because mm-hmm. she was surprised there. Yeah. No, I think she's, she thinks this is her density, as they would have said in Back to the Future, but it is not. And we forgot an act. Um, Gina. Is she really? Okay, Gina. Gina. Um, peak. I think we may see Gina 
do the greatest set of her life. I don't think we'll see Josh Blue do the greatest set of his life, but we might see her do hers, which would be very exciting if she did like the best she's ever done in her life. And there might be a reason for that. Me. I've been all over her. That's true. Yes. Yes, the Brett factor. The, the Brett factor is one of the most powerful factors in sports and entertainment. <laughs> I crap on someone, they immediately do amazing. No matter if they're fat, red, and grizzy, <laughs> or <laughs> Martin, or, you know, people in these shows. All right, so, here we go. I think that this person... You know what it's all about? I, I, I'm, I'm going to go... Nurses. Aiden Bryant. Brooke Simpson. Um, uh, maybe Jimmy. That's all I see uh, that could win. Um, who I think has a good chance of winning? Yeah. Nurse Choir. Jimmy. Yep. Josh Blue. Wow. He's on the train, folks. I'm on the train for Texas, and they don't want me in that state. <laughs> um, <laughs> all, right, all right, so that's about it, folks. Um, we are, we're, bringing, we're bringing the whole farm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we're shooting glitter in the air. <laughs> no, there won't be any. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get sparklers. Is it fireworks season? No. Uh, we're going to do something fun, and we're going to have special guests. So, Marquito, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. <laughs> yes. Um, it's going to be big time, baby. Mr. Big Time. Um, it's going to be awesome. And we're at the finals, and you know that's always my happy place that we're at the finals. Yeah. And who knows, maybe we will cover Britain's Got Talent, and, uh, you know, so you have that to look forward to anyway, in case you're going to miss us, and we know you will. But that finals is coming up. Who's right? Me, or Brett, or both, or neither. All of them incredibly frightening prospects to me, except for me winning, of course. So. Ooh, and um, we have a lot of the line this year because we have a chance to take our crown away. As a, as a, as mm. a show, mm -hmm. one of us at least wins. Right. So, boy, if it's that, tough. Fred, that would be hard for me to live with, man, if we, oh my God. I mean, we we did the we were able to do the voice. Britain's Got Talent. I mean, it, it's not normal that we're. <laughs> I mean, we 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 didn't we couldn't even remember all the acts. I'm telling so you this: I'm never going to go by numbers exclusively ever again. <laughs> that is never happening again. I'm going to follow my gut. I trust my gut more than I trust numbers and fickle viewers <laughs> on YouTube. I, I I might go by the comments. Um, so last thing, um, there, someone was mean. Uh, there was this little girl that was mean to another, uh, a twelve-year-old girl, Angelica Hale, who uh, was on AGT. Okay. So I made a fifteen-minute video screaming. Um, and I didn't have to be a crazy thing. Okay, so Not crazy. But immediately I put it on Patreon because I realized that I need to be normal. Um, I was teaching, I was just saying, let's band together. Stand up for what's right. Um, so, we'll be here Tuesday. And that's it. That's all I got. Alright. Well, we're going to see you guys later. Comment below. You know the deal. You communicate with us and we'll always communicate with you. We appreciate everybody that watches. It's been a long season. It felt like it went on forever. The audition rounds, I swear to God, are still happening, and I just don't realize it. But <laughs> we are really here at the end. And by the way, the uh, results show is two hours long. Mm. Okay. Well, they all perform. <laughs> Dynamite is two hours long, but I know I'm going to at least get to see something. 
Two hours long. Can you imagine how many bad... For, oh, oh, they all pre-perform again, don't they? I hope the mentalist doesn't go 30 minutes. <laughs> right? It, 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 no, they got rid of the guy that takes forever. They got rid of the bearded guy. Oh, thank God. Yeah, um, who are you telling? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Chap Kids for Life. <laughs> Chap Kids for Life. <laughs> the, the, and they... Um, Is that this year's uh, dance troupe from India for you? No, don't. Oh, they reached. They reached out. They're not. They're not dead. <laughs> wow. Um, but but then they didn't answer again. So they been, <laughs> they're gone again. Um, and what what was up with freaking uh, the unicycle guy Wesley uh, Williams? I think it was. Yeah. Did you, being on both shows, BGT and AGT, and doing the same thing, <laughs> riding really large unicycles. Um, but um. Thank you guys for everything. It's a lot of fun. Um, I was very angry, and now I've calmed down because cool. the show's been better. Chef Kids for Life, I'm Brett Douglas. I'm Stephen Platinum. This has been The Truth Hurts. You know it's all about the boom.